The largest city in the East Midlands made international news in 2012 when the body of King Richard III was discovered in a car park. Richard had been slain in 1485 at the Battle of Bosworth Field, a few miles west, and was buried hastily at an abbey, which has long since been defunct. In 2015 he was given a more fitting burial at Leicester Cathedral, where you can view his tomb. Fast forward 500 years and modern Leicester hosts the UK's National Space Centre, an uplifting day out for young astronauts, while there are dinosaur fossils and Egyptian mummies at the New Walk Museum and Art Gallery. So, here is the list of the 10 best things to do in Leicester, England. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. The Guildhall Museum. Leicester is privileged to have one of the best-preserved timber-framed halls in the country dating back 600 years. The Guildhall is a historic building and the oldest building still in use in the city. It was Leicester's first police station and between 1876 and the 1900s and saw many unsavory characters pass through its doors. The Great Hall itself was built in about 1390 as a meeting place for the Guild of Corpus Christi, a small but powerful group of businessmen and gentry, and it's also believed that Shakespeare performed here during Tudor times. Today, the Guildhall is best known as an excellent performance venue, attracting acts from across the country. Number 2. Leicester Cathedral. In 2015 Richard III's remains were officially reinterred at Leicester Cathedral. You can find his tomb in the chancel, comprising a large block of light Swaledale limestone, deeply etched with the shape of a cross, on top of a darker limestone plinth quarried from Kilkenny. The cathedral goes back to 1086, but most of its architecture is from a neo-Gothic overhaul in the Victorian period, calling on some of the foremost designers and craftsmen of the day. The beautiful wooden roof screen was by Charles Nicholson, while the Vaughan porch on the southern entrance to the church is named for its designer, J. L. Pearson. This depicts seven figures in OG-headed niches, from the 7th-century St. Guthlac of Crowland to Robert Grosdester, Archdeacon of Leicester in the 13th century and a trailblazing scholastic philosopher. Number 3. National Space Centre. Leicester University is one of the few institutions in the country offering courses in the space sciences, so the city is an apt location for the National Space Centre. Most of the exhibits are in the Rocket Tower, an outlandish building clad with bubbles of partially transparent eat plastic. In the six galleries, you can see one of the only Soviet Soyuz spacecraft in the West, as well as all manner of interactive displays dealing with cosmology, astronomy, and the science of spaceflight. The museum's restaurant is in an unforgettable spot, below the noses of the PGM-17 Thor and Blue Streak rockets. The National Space Center also has the largest planetarium in the UK and regularly welcomes space scientists and astronauts to give talks. Number 4. Leicester Museum and Art Gallery. Leicester Museum and Art Gallery is a world of discovery with collections and displays spanning the natural and cultural world. General entry is free to all visitors. On the historic New Walk, the museum is a family-friendly day out with galleries including Ancient Egypt, Dinosaurs, Wild Space, the Victorian Art Gallery, Arts and Crafts Gallery, Picasso Ceramics, the Attenborough Collection, and Leicester's internationally renowned collection of German Expressionism. The museum welcomes a vast array of temporary exhibitions, featuring works from the collections, touring exhibitions from national museums, and a program of contemporary art and craft displays. The museum hosts a range of events from curators' talks to lunchtime concerts, a cafe, and a museum shop. Number 5. Abbey Park. Straddling the River Saw, Abbey Park is a 90-acre public park with exciting pieces of history dotted around. 
The park opened in 1882 and is named for St. Mary's Abbey, which was set on the west bank of the Saw. Founded in the 12th century, this Augustinian monastery was once the richest in Leicestershire and was the place where Thomas Wolsey died in 1530 while heading south to face trial for treason. The abbey was torn down during the Reformation and much of its stone was used for Cavendish House, a fine Tudor mansion burnt down in the English Civil War and now itself a spectral ruin. There are loads of family activities in store at the park, which has a boating lake, pet's corner with small animals, a lavender maze, and a miniature railway. Number 6. Abbey Pumping Station Abbey Pumping Station is Leicester's Museum of Science and Technology, displaying the city's industrial, technological and scientific heritage. Opened in 1891, Abbey Pumping Station pumped Leicester's sewage to the treatment works at Beaumont Lays. The Grand Victorian building and beautifully decorated beam engines were a cause of great civic pride, having been built in the city by Gibsons. They are rare examples of Wolf compound rotative beam engines, and with all four beam engines now restored to working condition, they can be seen in steam on special event days, the only place in Britain this magnificent sight can be seen. Number 7. King Richard III Visitor Center, the last Plantagenet monarch, immortalized as a villain by Shakespeare, King Richard III was killed at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485. His body was then paraded 15 miles into Leicester and unceremoniously buried at the Greyfriars Friary. This was demolished during the Reformation and by the 20th century, the site had become a car park. The search for Richard III's body began in August 2012, and within weeks his remains were rediscovered, easily identified by scoliosis in his spine. The visitor center at the former car park maps out Richard's life and death, and details both the hunt for his body and the genome sequencing of ancient DNA to ensure the archaeologists had found the right man. Number 8. Bradgate Park on the northwestern edge of the city is an 850-acre expanse of beautiful rocky moorland. There are a few reasons to head here for a country walk. Bradgate is one of just a handful of places in the UK where you can see Precambrian basement rocks, formed some 560 million years ago, poking through the surface. The fossils found here and close by are the only known Precambrian fossils to be discovered in Western Europe. The park also has some 450 red and fallow deer, as well as some mighty oaks, hundreds of years old. The ruins of the 16th century Bradgate House are also a delight. The property, abandoned in the 18th century, was one of the first post-Roman estates to be built from bricks and was home to Lady Jane Grey, Queen of England for just nine days in 1553. Number 9. The Newark Houses Museum Newark House Museum is composed of two historic houses, Wykeston's Chantry House and Skeffington House, and tells the story of contemporary Leicester and the history of the Royal Leicestershire Regiment. The museum displays include a cinema experience, a collection of toys from Tudor to the present day, and a play area for children to try various games. Find out more about Leicester's famous son Daniel Lambert and visit a 1950s street scene inspired by Wharf Street that includes the Jolly Angler Public House, a grocer, and a pawnbroker, with sounds and conversations from the Times. Discover more about the story of Leicester at war. Through personal stories find out about the home front and the history of the regiment, including a recreation of a First World War trench with sound and lighting. Number 10. University of Leicester Botanic Garden. 16 acres of lovingly cultivated grounds and greenhouses display a wide variety of features and environments. The formal planting centers around a restored Edwardian garden. Other planting includes an arboretum, a herb garden, woodland, and herbaceous borders, rock gardens, a water garden, special collections of skimmia, aubrietta, and hardy fuchsia and a series of glass houses displaying temperate and tropical plants, alpines, and succulents. This garden is one of the most diverse in the region. 
It is the perfect place for a pleasant walk and there are benches for those who simply wish to relax and admire the surroundings. Variety is the key to this garden's strength. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Leicester. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. There are so many things to do and explore in this beautiful town, and this list just scratches the surface of things you can do. Go check out Leicester for yourself and add your own favorites to this list, before you know it you'll have a personalized vacation in one of England's most historic cities. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripar is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.